Marjorie Taylor Greene wants Mike Johnson out, with MTG filing a motion to get Speaker Johnson removed from office, claiming that he betrayed Republicans by helping push through a $1.2 trillion spending package to narrowly avoid a government shutdown. This is a betrayal of the American people. This is a betrayal of Republican voters. And so you have Greene saying that her main issue with the bill is it does not do enough to address the situation at the southern border, a point that she's reiterated in tweet after tweet since the bill was passed. But this notably, as there are quite a few wins for Republicans in the bill, and that's including on immigration with money for 2,000 new Border Patrol agents and additional ICE detention beds, as well as a 25% increase in funding for technology at the southern border. The bill also cuts funding for the State Department and foreign aid programs by roughly 6%, including a provision prohibiting taxpayer dollars from going to UNRWA. And on top of all that, Republicans even snuck in a provision banning the flying of LGBTQ pride flags over U.S. embassies, which obviously has nothing to do with the budget, which the White House has vowed to try and repeal. But this also, as Green isn't the only Republican to criticize the bill, with the likes of Andy Biggs of Arizona, for example, saying the bill was, quote, chock full of crap. 